Hi everyone. Now in this session, let us discuss one more example on more machine. Okay. Now here, the problem is construct a more machine that counts occurrences of sequence A B B in any input string over A comma B. Nothing is there. If we have some input string like this A B A B B A B like this. This is the input string. Our more machine should count how many times this A B B sequence in the whole string comes. Understand? So how many times see here A B A not like this A B B here A B B sequence once come. And then A, B, A, not like this, A, B, it ends. So, how many times A, B, B sequence comes here? Only one time. So, our more machine should tell only one time this A, B, B sequence encountered or occur in the input string. Understand? So, like that we have to construct more machine. So, here the object is to count here the objective is to count how many times the sequence A, B, B occurs in the input string with letter A and B. Understand? So that's why our input set will be A comma B and the outputs are 0 comma 1. So here the objective is whenever the A, B, B comes in the sequence, 1 appears at the output otherwise 0 simply. What we have seen in the previous example, if A, B, B comes in the sequence, the output should be 1. Otherwise, the output should be 0. So, like that we have to construct a more machine. Understand? So, now let us see with the uh, more machine. See here, this is what the more machine which we have constructed. Since it is more machine, the outputs are associated with the states. Okay, respective of inputs. So, now we are at state A. So, what is our sequence? A, B, B. So, straight away I am writing the sequence. So, if I am at this state A, if A is the input, it should go to state B. Again, A, B, B is our sequence. So, A comes here. Then B is the next letter. If B comes as input to the state B, then it moves to state C. Then again, we have third B. Then if B is the input, now we are at the state C. If B is the input, then it moves to state D because we shouldn't stay here. Since the output is 0 here. So, we should move to state D with what output 1. And all the other previous states should be associated with output 0, 0, 0 only. Because for this input, we shouldn't get 1 anywhere. Whenever the sequence is completed, then only we need to get the output 1. So, that's why we ha I have put 0, 0, 0 as output for the 3 states. And 1 is the output only for D. Simply the logic is when you start with any sequence, you go with a straight sequence A, B, B, whatever it may be the given sequence, indicated sequence, then you come back. Understand? So for that A, B, B sequence is encountered, then straight away it prints 1. Otherwise you check, you will get 0 only. Now let us go for the first test case. If the input sequence is A, B, B. Okay, initially we are at A with output 0. A we are with output 0. Then the first uh, character is A. So, A is the input. Then it goes to B with what output? 0. Then A is the input with, which goes to B with 0. Immediately the next letter is B. Now, we are at this state B. The input is B to this state B. It diverts to state C. Understand? So, now we are at state C. What is the state C output? Immediately 0. But we can't assign 1 anywhere because we still not getting A, B, B sequence. Still here A, B only. That's why we have assigned 0, zeros. Next, we got the third character as B. Now, we are at state C. The third character is B. Then, it uh, moves to state D. Okay. Now, the A, B, B sequence ends. So, that's why I have assigned output 1 to D state. Okay, I hope you understand how we are following the sequence. 
okay now let us check for another sequence of test case a b b a b b a b like that you can take anything okay so how many times uh, it is the sequence is encountered uh, here we can check with how many number of ones we are getting at the output if two times we are getting output once if two ones we are getting that shows two times the a b b sequence is encountered okay so first we are at state a with zero output then the first character is b then a is the character it moves to b with zero output it moves to b with zero output and the next character is b now we are at b you can check in the fine uh, uh, over uh, fsm more machine now we are at state b with b input we have moved to state c with zero output okay with the zero output next upon the input b here we move to d with one output we move to d with one output so we got one here so because a b b sequence is over so we got one here next immediately we are at d state we have a input now where we have to go when at this d if we have the input a there may be a chance of b b after a so that's why instead of diverting here if we have a we will get again a b b double a double b like this so that's why i have diverted this d to b only because after this a if there may be a chance of getting b b so you will get d equal to 1 at this state so that's why now i am at state d with input a Move to state B with zero output. Again, the next I am at state B with input B. Move to C. Understand? So move to C. So with output zero. Next, now we are at state C with input B. It moves to state D. So if we are here, then immediately there may be a chance of getting B. So that's why we move to state d understand so immediately we get one as the output for this a b b sequence next we are at state d we have a we have a it moves to b it moves to b state with zero output next we are at b state if the input is b it moves to state c with zero output okay now here we are with a input at this d state we move to b for example if we have b input at this state it moves to state a again it uh, the sequence will be followed if a b b sequence arrived one will be printed understand so like this we can create any kind of machine the either melee machine or more machine based on our requirement okay thank you